So one thing that we've noticed, you know, in the Olympics or when we're watching the Rockets or the Texans, you think, yeah, I'm, I'm not at that athletic level. <laughs> right. But you notice there are all kinds of people on the team who are not doing the athletics, but they're still a major part of it. Right. So this morning, though, if you are looking for a job and you love sports, we have Michelle Castro from Workforce Solutions with some job opportunities for the non-athlete. Lena and I are both very curious to see what <laughs> you have this morning, you know, in case we want to get a part-time gig or something. Absolutely. Good morning, ladies. You know, I love the Olympics and I've been watching every night after work. But the only sport where I'm any good at and could win a medal is channel surfing. I just haven't got an <laughs> athletic bone in my body. But nonetheless, there are people who absolutely love sports and want to be in sports, but they're not necessarily an athlete. So I wanted to check out and see what are the jobs available in the Houston area if you want to be in sports but aren't an athlete. And so it kind of falls into a few categories. You have the jobs that support the athletes, you know, the coaches, the athletic trainers, the referees and the umpires, the people that keep them healthy, uh, the uh, physicians, the physical therapists, uh, the psychologists, and even the nutritionists. And then you have the jobs that are in media to help people know what's going on, you know, to tell the fans. So you've got the reporters and the analysts, you know, like our own Nate Griffin. Uh, you've got the statisticians and you've got all those people that are running all of that equipment. And it's a business, so you got to have the, the managers, the, the people to manage the money, you know, the lawyers, the business managers, the accountants. And you have to promote it. So you've got the marketing managers and the public relations specialists. I mean, lots of different jobs. And then you do, you have a lot of people in those stadiums, a lot of great part-time jobs with the food service and the attendance. So the beauty of this is that there are many jobs available uh, if, if you want to be in this arena, but you don't necessarily have to be the athlete. Lots of great jobs. Well, I like that you point out, because some of those are pretty highly specialized. You know, we're not all lawyers, but you could do food service or an attendant at the gate. I wonder, are there perks that come along with this as well? <laughs> oh, and, you know, that's one of the big benefits, because uh, even when you are working in the arena, you still get to see the shows or, or you know, the the. the the, the games and you get to be in that atmosphere so you get to experience all that energy and so even if you aren't on the field you can still be in that arena and get that energy and contribute to the team just in a different way. Yeah, I love that. Sounds fun and exciting. We appreciate you as always, Michelle Castro. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. And we had a list of some Absolutely. of the jobs available. We'll always go to the website because I know you're updating that all the time. Our morning race sunshine, it. Michelle Castro. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Have a great weekend. You too.